Delegates came in from Africa and the rest of the world, discussing the latest trends around physics. For NMU, it's an honor to play host to some of the world's greatest minds. It's a conference of African scholars, but also international scholars and students who have converged here on George to discuss about the latest development in physics, but more importantly, physics which is Africa-focused for Africa's development. This New York-based African physicist was excited to engage with his peers. In many aspects of, uh, of science and industry, uh, we find fundamental physics, so understanding of physics drive all of this uh, development at a really basic level. So that's one good reason for us to think about uh, educating uh, our young uh, fellows in physics. Delegates agreed that science and physics needs to be more developed on the continent. Uh, science, uh, especially high energy physics, is not well developed in, in Africa. So we have uh, more or less like uh, only some countries like South Africa, Morocco, and Egypt, where you know this field is you know taught. And then in Senegal, where I am from, we don't have high energy physics. Similar sentiments were echoed by others, especially the lack of women in the profession. I mean, women like represent less than 30 persons. Uh, so yeah, it's 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 uh, an occasion to push more women, especially the girls, young girls, to 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 uh, start thinking about physics and yeah. Yes, another point that we are actually moving outside Africa for the moment because we want to have more experience. But being inside this community, we want to take as much as we can from of experience so that we can go back to our original countries. The delegates aim to have robust discussions throughout the week. The conference ends this Saturday. Segui Chetty, SABC News, George in the Western Cape.